Hi, and welcome to C'est la vie Don. So for today's project, I will be using some burlap, some stencils, some jingle bells, washi tape, a stenciling brush or sponge, a ruler, tape measure, some thread, a needle, some scissors, some green paint, some red paint, as well as some sort of stuffing to stuff this pillow we will be making. All right, let's get started. I have taken some burlap and folded it. At the fold, I have made it 12 inches in length and 22 across. And then what I'm doing is I am just gluing everything together except for an opening, obviously, so that we can stuff it. Because it was folded, there is one part that doesn't need gluing. So I'm just gluing that. Then when I'm done gluing everything together, what I'm doing is I'm creating a seam. You can do this with a sewing machine. I am planning on making some of these with a sewing machine, but I wanted to show that you can do this with a glue gun for those of you that cannot sew. So I'm just folding up a hem line here just because burlap frays and it frays badly. So I am folding up each piece there and gluing it. Then when I get the rectangle I want, I'm just folding it again and I am going to glue all well, the two sides together and the third we're going to leave open so that we will be able to stuff this when we are done stenciling it. Okay, from my stencils I have, they have the cutout letters that come with them. So I am just placing the letters that came with the stencils. You, if you cut these out on your Cricut, you will also get these. As you can see, I'm just showing you here, they're just the stencil inserts. So what I decided to do rather than use a ruler is I just placed them out. And then what I did is I just overlaid my stencil on top of where I had placed the letters. And I just put some washi tape down some of them I ended up holding at the end and I am just stenciling in. I like to use a piece of wood to dab onto first in case I get too much excess paint on my material I'm working with. However, I found the burlap very absorbent and I didn't need to do that a lot as I went on. But I'm just doing all of the words here to spell the word jingle on this little pillow. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it is all stenciled on and dry. It's a cute little rectangle pillow, or you could use this as a door wind stopper. And I am just now adding stuffing, just stuffing her up right there. And then when it's all stuffed, we are going to glue this shut. Basically the same technique I showed you guys earlier. Just going to fold in those seams and glue them and then glue it together. Just for any fraying first and then to seal it together. I found the hot glue worked extremely well and this will hold together with the hot glue if you choose not to sew this.
Okay, for this next fragment here, I'm just going to apologize. Somehow a smudge mark got on my camera. The next fragments don't have this. I apologize. Okay, so I decided to use some smaller jingle bells and this red embroidery thread that I had on hand. The thread was that I had was breaking. It was just a cheap metallic thread. It wasn't working. So I went with this embroidery thread. This jingle bell that I had showed at the beginning, I found it too big. So I'm just using the red and green jingle bells from Dollar Tree. And for this pillow, I am doing two red and one green. So red, green, red. And then I will be sewing them on in each corner. Now, if you are not a sewer at all, you can tie these, how I'm showing you right here, you can tie them and you can also hot glue them on or probably be able to use a safety pin. I'm just going to stitch mine on and just, just to keep them secure. And I will be doing that on all four corners. And here is my pillow with all of the jingle bells attached. It's just so rustic and farmhouse. I absolutely love how it turned out. It can be used indoors or outdoors and a great addition for Christmas decorating. Before I get into the next DIY I've created for you guys, I wanted to let you know that today's video is part of the Christmas Crafting with Friends collab hosted by Kiki from Kiki's DIY. She pulled a bunch of us creators together to create a holiday crafting party full of all kinds of amazing DIYs for you guys. I will be leaving Kiki's channel in my description box below as well as the playlist of all of these wonderful creators. I would love for you to check them all out and watch all of the videos on the playlist. All right, now let's get into the next part of my DIY. Okay, so for this part of the DIY, I am using the red embroidery thread, a needle again, stuffing. This time I'm using pine green acrylic paint. I'm going to be using some jingle bells. I'm going to be using stencils that spell joy as well as some leaf type stencils, some red trim. I'm going to be using a ruler and a, a foam brush. My stenciling brush had kind of was not working. <laughs> it was too wet. Now I am measuring this piece. This is already folded over and it I'm measuring it eight by eight and I'm doing the same technique as the last project where you're going to fold in the uh, rough edges to get the uh, fraying to stop and then you're just going to glue the two sides together leaving the top open because it's folded over you don't need to glue the bottom. So we're going to glue the two sides together there. If you haven't already, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and join my channel. Now with a smaller set of font stencils I had, I stenciled in the word joy the same way I did in the jingle pillow before. And then I had these 
leaf stencils. I didn't have holly, so I just decided to use this and I put a red one in each corner, stenciled it in there. And this is what it looks like when it was finished. And I am just going to add a little bit of stuffing in there. So I ended up not using three jingle bells. I used one green jingle bell in each corner and I sewed them on the same way I did before. Again, you could hot glue them. Then I took a piece of red trim, measured it at 12 inches. And then what I did was I reopened in on each end of the pillow. I reopened it and inserted the trim and glued it back shut. Should have done this before but I decided I want it as a door pillow to hang on a doorknob. So I'm just inserting it, gluing it back in. And I was twisting the ribbon right here when I hang it, I wanted the ribbon to have that twisted look and this is what it looks like and it will hang from a doorknob in our home for Christmas. I'd like to thank Kiki for hosting this challenge. Thank you so much Kiki and I'd like to thank all of the other collaborators who went in on this crafting party. I Hope you will all watch everyone. I cannot wait to see all of the videos. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Take care, Merry Christmas, and have a wonderful holiday. Bye-bye.